everyone uh, welcome to my channel so in this video I'm going to explain the solution about this uh, lead code question called design hate counter and uh, at the same time I'm going to go through the steps we are going to follow in the real coding interview so let's get started so remember in the coding interview the first step is always try to understand the question um, so if you have any unclear parts please ask them questions to the interviewer and at the same time think about some edge cases so let's read through this question design a hit counter which counts the number of hits received in the past five minutes so each con each function accepts a timestamp parameter and you may assume that calls are being made to the system in chron chronological order so the timestamp is monotonically increasing and you may assume that the earliest timestamp starts at one so it is possible that several hits arrive roughly at the same time. So let's see this one. After we hit one, two, three, and we get four, get hit four, so we are going to return three. If we hit hit three hundred, then get hit is uh, get hit three hundred is going to return four because there are four hits, one, two, three, and three hundred. When it is get hit three hundred plus one. It is going to return three because we are going to exclude the hit at uh, timestamp one. Uh, that's because we are only going to return the hits in the past five minutes. So there is a follow-up question. So what if the number of the hits per second could be very large? Does your design scale? So the next, after you understand the question, the next step is about discussing the solution, doing some runtime analysis and get an agreement with the interviewer before proceeding to do some coding work. So the solution is to you, essentially we need to keep a map. So the, t the key is the time modulus 300 because we are considering the fi past five minutes and the value is a class. The class contain the real timestamp uh, and uh, the corresponding count, how many how many hits are there for the corresponding timestamp. So the reason we keep the key as timestamp modular 300 is because we have we only consider the past five minutes, and uh, and also we and also we keep the real timestamp. That is because when we update the map, we really need to understand whether the corresponding time whether so for example suppose the key is five we we don't know whether the time the real timestamp it is keeping is five or 300 plus five so that's why we keep the timestamp in the time count which represent the real timestamp for the number of the hits we keep here so you see that uh, in the constructor we have uh, we initialize a map for the time mode count map and for the hit function, first of all, we compute uh, timestamp modular 300. And uh, if the time the map doesn't contain the corresponding key, then we are just going to put uh, a new key value pair into it. But if it contains that, uh, then we are going to get the real timestamp from the value. If the real timestamp matches uh, with the current timestamp, we are just going to update the counter. Otherwise, we are going. We see that. Uh, so, for example, original timestamp in the time count is five. Now we are we are at three hundred plus five, which means we have already passed the three, uh, sorry, the three hundred seconds or five minutes limit. So we are just going to update the time count with a new timestamp and the new, and has a shiny new counter initialized as one. So when we try to get get hit this function. So we are going to go through everything within the within the map, and uh, at the same time we will see if the real timestamp in the time count uh, is before uh, is before is before the pa is comes um, like older than the last five minutes. So if it is older, then we don't consider it. Otherwise, we are going to add the count on top of this count, and then finally return count. So the runtime for the hit is going to be the like 01 operation and for the gets hit get hits it is actually also a 01 operation because uh, we only consider uh, past 5 minutes so at most the number of the keys in the time mode count is going to be uh, 300 
but uh, if but uh, if we argue like uh, uh, so for example how many key value pairs are there in the time map it could be you can also say it is all of n due to the size of the map but essentially uh, due to the condition of this problem it is both are o1 operation so that's it for uh, this uh, problem and also our design can scale um, if there are a lot of the uh, hits um, if there are a lot of the hits at the same timestamp our design is going to um, survive that's because we only uh, have one key for uh, one key and the corresponding count for the same timestamp so that's why uh, our, our design is going to scale um, so that's it for this coding question uh, and remember after you're done with coding please do some testing if it is runnable platform you can feel free to use a platform to set up some test cases and run it see the results otherwise uh, you can uh, you, you need to go through the test cases manually and explain how this piece of code is going to work so that's it um, thanks for your time watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you feel this pretty helpful, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.